Hi guys. I am showing you tracks, which may not seem too interesting. Um, I'm out here riding with Indy, so it's a little bit of an update. Uh, for some of you who've been following the journey here with Indy, um, but those tracks are bear tracks. Now, I don't believe they're super fresh. I think they're probably from yesterday because they got a little bit of ice on them. <clears throat> it's going into the corn here. But um, what I want to talk about because of that is how things like this tend to get people off of their uh, uh, where they need to be mentally, right? And just the idea of, oh, there's bear tracks. Oh, my goodness, there must be a bear around. Well, and obviously, if there's bear tracks, there's a bear somewhere. But it doesn't really matter to me because we've worked through all these things that, um, you know, all the nervousness and those things. And as you guys can see, Indy is pretty chill now, right? But it, it, it's also that same idea I've heard many times people will tell me things like, hey, I was watching my horse out in the pasture and I always trusted my horse, but I saw how hard or high that horse could buck when they were out in the pasture. And they go, and now that I know that that could happen, what that horse could do, now I'm nervous. And, and I get that idea to a point. However, the reality is every horse is capable of doing it. Have you seen him do it? That might be a different story, right? But a horse could. It, they always could. But if we're always riding that way in that reactionary mindset of, oh my goodness, what? there might be a bear, there might be a this, there might be a that, what, what a bird jumps out, uh, all those things, right? That's all reactionary riding. And the reality is all of those things are likely to happen at some point. We just need to get over it and, and grab a hold of that idea. Yeah, it's probably going to happen. But instead of riding that reactionary way, <clears throat> I need to go, well, what do we do about it, right? And we have worked out the plan. I've talked about that uh, specifically within there. There's a whole bunch of deer tracks. Um, and, and what we do, should he get nervous? To be fair, if I got nervous, I'd do the same thing. Right? And I see how it will work. I know that that will work. I know that that's how I can bring peace and calm back to this horse. Because as I say all the time, the horse just seeks peace. That's what they want in all things. So if I can help that horse find the thing that I actually want, that's what makes me so confident to go and do things and ride in areas where well, I already know that there's bears. I've had video, I've made a video of four bears. Uh, these things happen. Pheasants fly out of the corn. I mean, I've already had morning doves, a bunch of them fly out of here earlier on the ride and, and he really didn't care. But we have to just understand that these things will happen with our horses and then once we've implemented on the what we're going to do it makes us so me anyways confident to handle those situations right i always want my horse to think no matter what we encounter it's not a big thing it's just the next thing right? it doesn't matter we've got it we've got it right we've got it and that's how we can be confident. I have gotten a whole bunch of messages and comments and things. People go, well, what's your biggest tip on how to be confident? Well, quite frankly, be prepared, have a plan. And your plan might look different than mine, and that's fine, right? but you need to have a plan. We just thought of somewhere bear tracks. There's a whole bunch of deer and lots of deer around here. But have that plan so that when the things happen, even some coyote tracks, when those things happen, we know what we can do. Right. Good example. Indy's starting to get a little. He's calling back to the barn over there. But I know that should he decide to let his emotions go, I have a plan. So I'm not going to pull on him. I'm going to give his brain something to do. Let's see. It might just happen. It might just happen. Nope. He thought it through. So I wanted to show you. But the plan is working, so I didn't get to show you. But this is how we get confident. Have that plan. Holy smokes, there's a lot of do tricks. Have that plan worked out and what you're going to do. And that's how we can be confident. So just thought I'd bring you guys along today on this ride. Indy leaves tomorrow. So hopefully we've got them going on the right path and we can make that connection 
with his owner tomorrow and we can take him on down the trail or she can take him on down the trail so thanks for coming along guys until next time put your hand down <laughs>